Greetings! My name is Gordon Freeman, and I'm very peeved. And today we're gonna be running right into a goddamn mysterious floating orb. Uh, oh, well, that did nothing. Yep. Teleporters. Well, I've been dealing with Bozo's teleporting all around all this time. Now I'm the teleporting asshole. Yeah. Wait a minute. Oh, I recognize this place. I was just here, more or less. Hey. I said I'm the teleporting asshole now, not you. Uh, and we're back. Well, that was helpful. Okay then. Ow! What? And we're right back where we fucking started. Well, that was helpful. Uh, what this one? What did I just say? Huh. huh. Let me guess, it takes me right back here. God. Okay then. These sure are helpful. Uh, this one? No, damn it. What even is with this ridiculous arrangement, anyways? Uh, no, I'm not with that. With that one. Are these just sort of naturally forming portals or something? Hi. Huh. Ah. Uh. Uh. Oh dear. Thank goodness mo uh, momentum is not conserved. Bloody hell. Uh. Not my finest hour, I admit. Oh! Jeez, that was lucky. Nearly fucking fell right in there. Ooh. Uh, blind leap. My favorite activity. Eh! God fucking damn it. For, for... I'm not gonna go in there, thank you very much. But yeah, for, for my goddamn saving and loading, I'd be stuck here for ten times as long. Here we go. I guess... Are these, like, accidental portals forming because the, the reactor uses weird alien technology or something? Or are these, like actually things that are there for the function of the reactor. But I sure hope these aren't like the intended ways to get around. Then again, this is Black Mesa. What more need be said? Here we go. Containment override disengaged, which is a plan. Oh, which is something that I that can't possibly go horribly wrong. Oh, I was kind of hoping this was open. I guess that's not actually a door or something. Um. Oh, right, that's a different one. Oh shit. Uh oh. Well, this is a problem. Ah. Ow. Okay. Game over 
Alright, disengaged, which can't possibly go horribly, horribly wrong. See? Ah, fuck. Thought I could make that. Uh, Geronimo! Okay, for a moment I thought I was back where I started. Jesus Christ. Uh, and we're out. Excellent. Okay. Slightly overkill, but oh well. Uh, oh, wait, ladder! Great! I mean, ladders are pretty rubbish too, but they're far better than elevators. Not much more reliable, but at least they're not outright death traps. Usually. Oh, hi! Is this? Yes, the Lambda Complex. Okay. Gordon Freeman. The one and only. Finally found us. So this is the guy, huh? Yep, the guy. Oh, nonsense, Hunter. Nothing stands in the way of our errant knight in shining high impact reactive armor. Yep, nothing stands in the way of the Freeman. Yes, not. All right then. This way, Dr. So Freeman. never doubted me. We've been expecting you. I'll bet. I've been expecting me too. Jesus, you're not scared, are you? <laughs> Shut up. What you see before you is the supply depot for our first survey team. Hmm. Quite a few handsome specimens were collected from the border world and brought back this way. Before the survey members started being collected themselves, that is. Should have sent These me meetings in. meetings have given us reason to I suspect that there is an immense portal over there, created and maintained by the intense concentration of a single powerful being. Me? I'm sure that you will know no, it probably when you not see me. it. I am loath to say this, Gordon, but you must kill it. Sounds like fun. You better kill it. No ifs, ands, or asses about <clears> it. <throat> of course, you owe us nothing, Dr. Freeman. Yeah. But you've come this I far. You, if anything, you, know you guys all owe me a lot. Enough to know that if you don't wipe it out, well, let's put it this way. There ain't gonna be much for you to come home to. Yeah. Yes. So if you're willing, my colleague is waiting for you at the main portal controls. Dr. Steinman will open the gates for you. And don't let Hunter's brash attitude frighten you. We've all been a wee bit wrangled since the incident. <laughs> yeah. You have no idea. You with the proper armaments for the task ahead. Do hurry. You guys haven't been through a, a fucking fraction of what I've been. And I'm not just talking about the aliens. I'm talking about all you guys' fucking rank stupidity. Or whoever made Black Mesa, anyways. Whoever signed off on all this crap. But yeah, you don't have to convince me. I'm raring to go to kill some alien bozos. So, you're actually gonna go through with this, huh? Of course. You're braver than you look. This here's my personal collection. Oh, baby. Best military grade hardware this side of the Rio Grande. Have at it. I will. I promise me you put it to good use. I fucking will. Huh. Oh, I. Once again, I regret that I have but one. Or, uh, suit to store all of this. Lovelies. Everything's fully loaded? Seems like it. Alright. Nothing for it. Let's go kill some aliens and monsters. Let's go meet my destiny. Dr. Uh. Freeman, so glad you made it. I have one final accoutrement for you. Ooh. This you do, is do the you? long jump module. Oh yeah. I created it expressly for navigation in the world beyond. I've been trained in its operation. Good shit. I always wondered why we needed one of these. I guess it's I for exploring alien received long jump training planets. Oh yeah. Once you're in Zen, you are needed. 
The long up module should keep you out of harm's way once you've crossed over. <laughs> out of harm's way. What a not a good joke. Everyone laughed. Let's see. Um, yeah. Which by a double input of the uh, of the jump servo command. You used to have to crouch and then jump, but that was earlier versions of the tech. And they changed that pretty quickly for obvious reasons. Yeah, I, uh, as I said, I always wondered why a fucking lab rat like me would, would need a long jump module. But I guess it's because, I guess it's just sort of standardized training for people in HEV suits. Which I guess were designed for exploring alien planets. Good shit. Man. All these all those other HEV technicians with their uh, get to got to explore alien planets and meanwhile I was stuck at fucking being on ground zero of the of being a goddamn pack mule for the science experiments. What a jip. You know, if they had sent me, maybe they wouldn't have been all the all the technicians wouldn't have been collected, as they said. Hello, Freeman! Hey! I'm up here! Yo! Practice your long jump if you must, but hurry up! Yeah, 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 I know, I know. Ha! I missed this. I was so. Uh, I felt so jipped when I never actually got to use it out of training. All right, I can open the portal now. The process is complicated. Control. Once it has begun, I must not be interrupted, or I'll have to start all over again. Don't enter the beam until I give the okay. Understood? Okay. I will begin. Don't die. Oh no, he's protected. Hopefully. Big heads. Oh. trying to watch the cool fucking science going on and you're all distracting me. Asshole. God, how much long is this gonna take? I swear to god, if this is all the rhythm, we have to stay tuned. Oh! Okay! Oh. My 
head. And hey, we're here. That certainly looks like what I would imagine an alien world to look like. Either. I mean, if it's a, if if I'm on a soundstage or something, it's a pretty fucking impressive one. All right, to boldly go where several people have already gone. Actually, I think. Now that. Now that's fu This feels more like fantasy than sci-fi, to be honest. But all right. If I had to guess where I need to go. To find the alien leader. It's probably there in what looks to be a big ass wizard's tower. And. God, that's fucking beautiful, isn't it? Not in Kansas anymore. I'm well. I'm on a completely different planet. That's maybe even a different universe entirely. That's man. This is the road my path has taken me. The world has taken me. Will I ever get back? Do I even want to get back? Poor bastard. Must have been before they input, uh, implemented the invisible helmets. Oh well. I mean, I could spend my entire life just plumbing the depths of this alien world and still never learn even a fraction what there is to learn. I mean, I suppose the same could be said for my original world, but, you know. Poor bastards. Look at that. What is that? A fucking soap bubble? What is the stuff in it? Soap? Neural tissue? I don't know. Feels like the gravity's a bit lower here. subtle, but yeah. And it's all... It's as if it's all floating in space. But there's clearly an atmosphere. So... Is there some kind of... Are there, like, buoyant substances within these rocks? Because clear... The gravity is clearly not nearly low enough for all this to float. So... But yeah, if it was somehow buoyant, or maybe... Hmm. I don't know. I just don't know. I also don't know how I'm meant to actually get back. I don't exactly have a two-way teleporter. But... Can. Do I even really want to go back? Look at this place. And again, I don't exactly know what's edible around here, so... I'm sure I can find out through trial and error. <laughs> it feels... Honestly, it feels almost like... Halfway between this being a... 
I feel like this is all like a bunch of open air caverns if you know if you catch my drift. I guess the uh, cramped confines of most of this place so far has this sort of explains how the barnacles are able to be successful hunters despite being seemingly immobile. What the heck is this? Again, I feel so gypped that I wasn't part of the uh, fucking away team. So, so the first time I'm arriving here is not a, on a mission of science, but of violence. Not that I mind missions of violence, mainly. It's one of my favorite activities, but so much I could learn from here. Oh well. Also, speaking of, uh, speaking of gravity, what, how, what is, what is producing the gravity that's sending me downwards like that into the sea of what I can only imagine are stars? Like, look. This sort of ute falls at a uniform pace. What? What? There's something invisible here. Hmm. Whatever. That's hardly the most unusual thing I've seen up today. I mean, we have invisible stuff in Black Mesa. Which, now that I think about it, might have been a technology we adapted from here if there's naturally forming invisible substances. Assuming this is naturally forming and not just a discarded invisible wall from Black Mesa. I mean, I imagine uh, finding uh, finding ones that you lost would be rather difficult. But yeah, I don't understand how gravity works in this place. And what is that? Well, sorry to drop in and announce. Ah, fuck. I really shouldn't be eating that irresponsibly. Don't want to go rocketing off and. Whatever that is, space or something. Hi. Oop. Like I said. I mean, fucking look at this. How does any of this make sense? Well, I suppose... 
Well, the, I suppose like one of the fundamental things to remember is that the universe always makes sense. If you're confused, that's a property of you, not the universe. But, but regardless, I notice that I am confused. I know how to sprint. Uh, uh, no! Yes, I know how to sprint. Forget that fucking alien. It's the goddamn alien planet is more of a danger to me than they are. Oof. Gonna throw landing jets. What the fuck is this? Is it alive? Or is it just pulsating? I'm not certain. I'm not certain of anything. That certainly looks alive. Have a rock on top, or is that? Uh. Imagine how much we could have learned from this place if we weren't just being pushed by dumbass government officials to rush our way through the whole fucking disaster. Oh well. It, and the, that weird orange energy that it was shooting at me kind of reminded me of those weird flying creature projectiles and the teleporters and in s some ways the uh, other aliens as well. I could spend a, a hundred lifetimes here. I think I need to have a sit down. Feeling. This place feels strangely tranquil, doesn't it? The first time since. Well, since I woke up today, really. Feels strangely. Peace. Word and and words fail me. No, that's the wrong way of phrasing that. It's not as if I'm tr struggling to find words, but I can't. But, so until next time. I have been Gordon Freeman, and I'm very P. And remember, dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave a nasty comment in the comment section down below. Fuck you all so much for watching, and so long, suckers. <laughs> Daily light shines through the night.